Hello, this is Amy at Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. You can find my blog on the internet at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com and I am going to attempt to do my version of McTavishing which really needs some work. We've talked about maybe doing a quilt along on the website A better name would be a McTavish along. And see if we can't get our McTavishing. This is to be using the Royal We. Get our McTavishing looking like something we like. Basically making four lines echo each other. When I get stuck in a spot, I'm just making some C shapes to get out. And then just shooting off into another direction. Understanding that Karen does hers by breaking up larger areas with a long curvy line. And then adding in some of these little curvy things. And one of the things with hers is She's using a long arm. She's got a little bit more freedom of motion for what she's doing, in, in my opinion, because she's got the range of movement of her arms and upper torso, whereas we've got just the range of motion we can do basically with our forearms. I'm going to get away from that shape. I don't think I really like that shape there. I like to get better at getting my shapes a little bit more free-flowing. And again, I think that some of that has to do with the fact that with a sit-down machine, our range of motion is, is somewhat limited. And I really should have gone on the other side of that line for that stitching. So I'm just going to backtrack along here. Establishing does require quite a bit, of, not quite a bit, some backtracking as you move from one shape to another. I'm just going to do some of her little C's. It's very similar to the shells that we do sometimes. Uh, if you saw my little um, feather flower, it starts with a shell shape very similar to this. And then I'm just going to come over here, follow that line. I'm going to put a little curly cue in there. And it's okay to make the shape or a design more your own by doing your own little thing to it. And make the design your own. And I like doing these little curly cues. I'm going to do one over here now. And bounce around back over here so I can feel 
little spot. And just backtrack right here in this little tiny corner. Stitch around. shell shapes in here, just to kind of fill in that little corner area. What do you think? Anyway, that's some of my McTavishing. I hope you enjoyed this little video. This is Amy at Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. You can find the blog at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.